Let's talk about chocolate orange. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs, and I thought this was basically an emergency. Chocolate orange has taken over the UK, and honestly, it's, it's for no reason. It is actually for no reason, and I'm going to discuss why I think that in this video. Well, I should clarify, I don't think that uh, there's no reason why it hasn't taken over. I just think it's, it's, it's a misjudgment from the industry. It's, it's, it's baffling. It is. It's baffling. So... First of all, let's talk about the current landscape of the UK food industry and consumerism, products available, that sort of that sort of thing. Basically, I'm filming this at the very end of October, and for the last, I'd say, two months, the UK has become absolutely inundated with chocolate orange flavour products. Now, I'm not exactly complaining. Um, because I like trying new products and you know this is exactly what the channel is is primarily focused on we love trying new snacks and flavors and and uh, interesting things like that uh, the thing that irritates me is that one this is not a new flavor it's not it's not an interesting flavor it's good and it's great and it certainly has its fans and that's something that we'll come on to in a minute as well but there's just there's no good reason for why this has happened. I, I I believe I can pinpoint why it has happened, and I'll I'll talk about that as well. But um, it it just irritates me that on this occasion the food industry has just stormed ahead, creating loads of new products when we are so often starved for new products. Like how often do Cadbury release new flavors of products? Like it's it's always the same flavors, uh, and it's always. It's always just, everything is always just the same. And I, I singled out Cadbury there. It's sort of everyone. If you want innovation, you have to go to smaller companies. Um, and that's annoying. Like, it's great to support small businesses, and I'm happy to do so, and usually you'll get better products. But I still want that mix of, you know, premium, high-end products that are amazing. But then I want cheaper snacks that are fun and interesting as well. I want both. Um, so why do I think this has happened? I believe this happened because last year the Orange Twirl released in the UK and it released to absolutely um, like huge popularity and absolute craziness, loads of social media things. Um, I, th I think that influencers and Instagrammers, um, there's so many food Instagrammers these days and Instagram has become such a big platform for advertisement, whether it be specific advertisement or just... Um, subliminal subliminal or whatever uh, did I say that right sort of um, that we live in a new landscape uh, a new environment and it's easier to directly interact with your target audience um, for for like these types of products um, so orange 12 came out incredibly incredibly popular to my knowledge this is the first limited edition 12 flavour, or the first different 12 flavour, that the UK has ever seen. I will say there was the Cadbury Snowflake, which is, you know, not far off of a twirl. It is a flake wrapped in chocolate, and that is what a twirl is. But it was branded under Snowflake. Um, to my knowledge, there has never been a different flavour of twirl in the UK. Now, Australia have had plenty. Australia had the Orange Way before us. They had caramel. They've got caramel. Um, so Australia's game is, is good on the limited edition front. But as I said, I do not believe that the UK has ever had a different flavour of twirl. And that, that is the reason why I believe the bar was popular. I do not believe the bar was as popular as it was because it was chocolate orange. I think it was just because it was a new product. It was a new product of a huge brand, uh, you know, like a basically a pop culture iconic recognized brand twirl you know it's in heroes it's been heroes since maybe the start or maybe shortly after um but this is a this is a chocolate bar that is hugely popular hugely recognizable and it's the first different flavor there's they've ever done that's why it was popular in my opinion now why do i think that i did recently run a poll where i asked you if cadbury were to release a new flavor of dairy milk what would you like to see now the interesting thing about this poll, which I didn't actually tell anyone, is all of the flavours on here are all flavours 
that are featured in the chocolate bars of currently existing chocolate bars. When I did the UK chocolate bar tier list recently, I looked at all of those bars and I compiled a list of all the flavours. There was about 25, 30 flavours here. And the results of the poll, very interesting. Um, I'd just say that the bottom one was lime. Uh, lemon, coconut were also down towards the bottom. Cola was fourth from bottom. That was heartbreaking. Um, and up up towards the top, caramelised white chocolate. So caramac was the most popular. Uh, followed second by malted, which I was extremely happy to see as a massive fan of malted flavourings. Uh, then followed by cookies, vanilla, biscuit, crispy rice, blah, blah, blah. You can see the full details there. Now, what you'll see about this is that orange is actually closer towards the bottom. It's, it's kind of in the middle, but it's closer towards the bottom. Um, it's about, what, ninth or tenth from bottom here. And its average score out of six, so the, the, the normal Food Review UK rating scale of six stars, uh, its average score is 3.23. Um, not that big. Not that big. Now... I of course did do this in the throes of there being so many chocolate orange products. So I appreciate that this poll could have been slightly skewed by the fact that everyone is just sick of seeing orange flavour stuff. But regardless of, of how it is skewed the orange, look at all these flavourings up towards the top that people want. How many caramelised white chocolate bars have we had in the UK recently? Um, in the last four five years I, I'm only aware of like one and that is the uh, that we don't already have you know we've got Caramac and we've got Gold Bar to my knowledge those are the only two sort of big ones we got Caramac buttons fairly recently I suppose uh, but then we got the Nestle Latelier that's the only one I can think of um, in Australia they've got Caramilk and again Caramilk has seen huge popularity in like the Instagram community and all that sort of thing so yeah, there's a big, big hole right there. Um, why isn't there? Why isn't caramel in the UK? Um, why isn't there like a caramel um, twirl? Which again, there is in Australia. So that's that seems obvious. That seems like a quick, easy win for these companies. Malted is the next one. Yeah, bring on the malted stuff. I would be absolutely gaga for malted stuff. Maybe it could have malted biscuits in there. Um, you know, Maltesers continue to release a lot of products, so that's cool. I guess they're pretty much the only malted flavour thing, but the one thing I would say is that of all of Maltesers' products, really the only thing that is that malty is the original Maltesers. Um, yeah, like their ancillary products like biscuits and whatnot, they don't, they're not malty enough. So I think there's scope there. Cookies, again, like a dairy milk cookie bar would be awesome. And then we've got vanilla, biscuit, crispy rice fudge, blah, blah, blah. What I'm saying, guys, is I think if these companies just did any new products, maybe did a little bit of consumer research, they could release some really interesting new products. I don't... What annoys me is that they've all, they've all come out with stuff, like, so quickly after seeing the Orange 12, or this craze happening. We've got the Domino's um, or Choc Orange Cookies. We've got the Maryland Jaffinator Cookies. Um, the Orange Twirl, obviously, which set things off. Um, the supermarkets have got in on their own brand baked goods. It's annoying that, that the industry can, can mobilise so quickly to do exclusive flavours when, guys, us as a food consumers and audience, we want to try new products. We don't care if they're chocolate orange, we just want new stuff. At least that is my thoughts and theories. You might have a different take on it. Um, although I've spoken to a few of you and I know that there's a general sentiment that chocolate orange is great, but it's nothing special and it's not like our favourite collectively. So yeah, that's my thoughts and feelings. If you are, if you work in the food industry, um, please try new flavours. And look, on this limited, very, very limited research that I've done, the most wanted flavours are caramelised white chocolate, malted, cookies, vanilla, biscuit, crispy rice, fudge. Boom. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Rant over. I haven't really ranted like that since the Choc Brownie days. Uh, that was the last big craze. I just can't believe the chocolate orange is a craze. Uh, anyway, we'll see you next time. Cheers. That is like the perfect blend of child and adult. <laughs> that makes... Oh my god! Yeah, it does sound that a bit. That's the worst thing you could possibly say. Yeah, it sounds a bit fucked up, actually. <laughs> 
I, yeah. <laughs> Horrific. <laughs>